Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk about how to best kill parasites and copepods and anything that you don't want in your fish tank. So this 20 gallon tank used to house crayfish, guppies and a bunch of other stuff. But now I transformed it into a plant tank which only has uh, those plants in the back and um, I have a uh, pothos uh, hanging up there with the roots down there and I have a lot of bamboo set up this is a perfect looking tank for me but I also have a lot of ram's horn snails in here I have a lot like a couple hundreds and then I do have some tiger shrimps back there and there's a beta let me show you from the side I put in a beta fish in there in there uh, just a couple days ago because this vibe just fits so well with the beta fish uh, I was you know I just wanted to keep a fish in. oh I do have two guppies two baby guppies in here as you can see up there and a floating floating plant right, right there so yeah I, I just have a bunch of stuff in here with um, that filter right there is cape I think that's a 15 gallon filter and I do have like a like a there oh, there's the beta oh so pretty isn't it look look at him look at him he's so he's so beautiful he's so handsome more like yeah that's right looking great just wanted to show you show off my beta fish in there looking so beautiful anyway I also have a water pump right there that's I think that's like a two gallon water pump or something it's, it's a very small size water pump you know that's what I wanted to emphasize anyway so uh, this tank went through a lot of transformation um, but before this look it used to be a plant tank too however it had way way more um, shrimps and much much more um, snails in here I had a couple hundreds of them in there more than what I have right now uh, but the problem is the more snails and more whatever you have in here more other whatever will be in here like unwanted stuff like parasites the worms and like copepods and other pods microorganisms they grow in here because there's abundant uh, food waste and you know not enough filtration um, because um, not enough filtration because you know I barely did any water change because there's plenty plants in here to just filter everything out but I run that filter that filter I run that 24 7 that filter never stops and whenever I take out the cartridge probably like once a month it's pitch dark black like that's how much it filters out um, but anyway you know this tank is I do minimum water change and it's just maximum just view you know what I mean but yeah, so due to that reason, due to like minimum water change and filtration change and whatnot, uh, a lot of, you know, abundant, you know, waste and food waste was remaining in this tank, which I didn't know until I found out um, there were like so many worms in here, so many other parasite looking creatures in here, which shocked me. Um, so let me tell you what I did to remove them. Uh, that was actually this was my second time having you know parasite and worm issues uh, I honestly feel like you just can't get away with them unless you just completely reset the tank um, So when this actually happened previously what I did is I took out all the plants and uh, I, I actually soaked them in uh, salt water for a couple of hours and I also used what's called this Paragard um, this is one of the medicines that I used, Paragard. It kills all the ectothermic or endothermic or whatever parasites in the water. It just kills all of them. And I also use just it cure, just you know, just to you know, double kill it. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea though. And I also used Prazipro. This literally like this kills everything right here like this even kills your plants you know that's not good for you I, and i knew that i knew that the prazit pro just a couple of drops and whatnot will just just annihilate everything in the water but i had so many parasites in there that i had to use all the medications that i that i had in in hands to just get rid of them so i soaked all these plants in all these medicines and whatnot and i scooped out all the sand in here 
uh, sorted out all the snails, put it in a different tank, and I, I literally bathed them in a hot bubbling water for like three days. So I three days I kept changing water and I kept pouring in really really hot water um, so that sand is completely just just burning hot. So anything any living organism can just burn to death, you know, just boil to death or something. Did that for three days straight with the sand and with the snails I put in um, a lot of medication but I also used um, UV lights. I used UV lights mainly for the plants though. Um, I try to sort out all the you know parasites and the snails by using medication and whatnot so that they don't die from the UV lights. But you know um, in, in this process I like I said I use a lot of medications and UV lights. UV lights literally kills everything. So I don't recommend any of the medications that I showed you unless you have to. Like my method is like when you face extreme extreme paras parasite issues and whatnot which I had. So I used all these medications which helped and this hot water method and UV light method. So in the end, um, you know, like like about about 60% of my plants just died. It just completely died. I put them in the water and they just break. Like literally just break. And my sand was, you know, whatever. And I think I lost about like 30% of snails. So if I had 100, I lost about 30, which is not that bad. But you know, in the process, um, it was just a lot of work. This took me like a week actually. Um, but it had to be done. Uh, because I wanted to make it look like this. Like as you see, without any parasites and whatnot. So um, such process like I just informed you about uh, takes about a week um, and you have to approach everything in, in, in different, with, with different medications and methods. So to summarize, if you have plants, soak them in all the medications that I showed you, which are the Prazipro and you know Paragard and the blue methylamine or something like that. Put them in there, soak them in there for you know a couple of hours to a couple of days, and also exp expose them in UV light. But definitely, definitely expect to lose about half of your plants because about half of your plants will die from all those medications and uh, the UV light exposure because UV light literally kills everything. It kills the cell, like the, the cells of everything. Just letting you know. And for the sand or your your substrate, just put it in a bucket and uh, pour boiling hot water in there and just repeat that process like 10 times or 20 times how many times you can afford to do and most of the you know whatever living creature in your substrate will perish and for whatever animal that's in there expose them to you know um, some subtle medication that won't kill them uh, but will kill like the the parasites like the Paragard and whatnot. But definitely read the description of the medications that you're going to use for the parasites because all fish and the snails, the invertebrates and everything, they, they require different medication because trust me, if you don't read the descriptions and you know do whatever, you will kill everything in your tank. You will definitely kill everything. So I did a lot of research uh, before you know approaching this method and actually resetting this whole tank. Um, it took me about like you know two weeks to read everything, all the articles and how to approach. But you know uh, there was a risk, and I did you know expect such risk, like a lot of loss in plants and a lot of loss in snails and shrimps and whatnot. These are expensive creatures, but you know some things have to be done in order to maintain better, better ecosystem, better fish tank for a longer term. Although it was a lot of work, I think it was definitely worth it. Now seeing that all these snails are doing great and the plants are actually pro proliferating again. And you know, the fish, is, the fish in there, they're doing great. You know, two baby guppies and my, my beta fish in there are doing great. So yeah, so this is a new tank setup for my plant tank. This is mainly a plant tank, but this is what it looks like. So uh, if you guys have any questions regarding parasites or how or where I got all these plants and whatnot, just let me know down in the comment section and I'll try to help you guys out as best as possible. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!